Reloading these solid brass 10 gauge shotgun shells can be an easy job. Let me show you how I do it. Brass shotgun shells of all gauges were in common use from the late 19th century until World War II. These shells were pretty dirty, but I cleaned them up earlier. To reload them, I'm using some original loading tools, including a deprimer or decapper, a capper or priming tool, an adjustable powder and shot measure, a wide guide, and a ram. I'll also need reloading components, primers, powder, shot, wads, and a bit of glue to hold the top wad in place. It's important to note that brass shotgun shells were designed for three different types of primers. This shell requires a Burdan type primer where the anvil is built into the case. This one uses a shotgun type primer and the shells I'm reloading today are designed for a standard large pistol primer. Brass shotgun shells come in various lengths. I've cast the chambers of my old Parker shotgun and measured the castings to determine the length of the chambers, which is about 2 and 5 eighths inches. Next, I'll trim the cases to the correct length using a trim die that we made here in the shop. Then deburr them. I need to make sure they'll fit in the chambers. Some do, and some don't. For those that won't chamber, I'll lubricate and size them in a shop-made sizing die. After the cases are trimmed and sized, I wipe off all of the excess lubricant and now they all chamber perfectly. This is an original capping tool and I use it to squeeze the large pistol primer into the primer pocket till it's just below flush. An adjustable dipper will measure both powder and shot. The black powder is scooped and poured in. Three and a quarter drams. These loads will be very mild. Then the over powder wad is added and I press it firmly in place. The cushion wad is next. It acts like a shock absorber for the shot and keeps it round for truer flight. Next I'll use a shot charge of 1 and 1 8 ounces, again for a very mild load in the 10 gauge. followed by the overshot wad, which I press into place. In this instance, I'm using nine gauge wads by Circle Fly which is correct for thin wall, 10 gauge brass cases. Here is a cutaway of what the powder, overshot wad, cushion wad, shot and overshot wad look like inside the case. Now the factories would have filled the case to the top with wads and crimped the end of the case to hold the overshot wad. But when reloading, we don't fill the case to the top and use an old-fashioned glue called water glass. I could also use Duco cement, paraffin, or Fletch-tight aero-fetching cement to hold the top wad in place. A small quantity around the edge of the wad is fine, and it sets up within a few hours. 
now I can go shooting. Oh!